The reason is all these clouds coming in from the North Atlantic, or North Atlantic, one weather system after another snaking its way across into the British Isles. That's going to bring the rains and some strong winds as we go through the week. First, the rains now coming in the most western and the northern side, working their way southwards as we go through this evening. Some heavier rain in there shown by those uh, brighter colours. I think the rainfall is going to continue to work its way southwards and eastwards as we go through the night, followed by some wintry showers into the north, falling as sleet and snow over the higher ground. That's a particularly cold night in the south, but further north, under those clearer skies, temperatures may fall low enough to bring a touch of frost and some icy patches by the morning. So tomorrow we have the cold front just pushing its way over into the continent. That's going to affect the far southeast to start the day, so windy and dull and wet at first in the most southern and eastern part of England, but brightening up as the morning wears on. For many northern eastern areas, we're a bright start for the north and west, lots of showers around. Those showers becoming heavier, becoming more widespread as we go into the afternoon. Some pushing over into the northeast, some pushing further south over north and west Wales. I think a few getting through there into the more central parts, into the Midlands, for example. A colder day, though, everywhere, and a windy day as well. Best temperatures around 6 to 8 degrees. It's going to get even windier as we go through then into Wednesday. This area of low pressure deepening, moving rapidly into the British Isles and then across the British Isles as we go through Wednesday and into Thursday. That's going to bring some heavier rain, but not a bad start to the day, I think, for most of the country on Wednesday. Fairly bright and mostly dry in many central and eastern areas. A bit of a chilly start, though, and some wintry showers continuing to affect the most northern parts of Scotland. As we go into the afternoon, to the middle of the past of the day, this cloud is going to thicken up from the south and west bring that rain quickly across all parts of the country and it will be very heavy in many central and southern parts of England. And those gales are going to affect central and southern parts of England as well. Brighter weather with showers will follow. Rain's soon getting into Cornwall and